In this part of the tutorial, we're going to work with modifying our screen and adding elements to it. So, you can see here I've got the two screens that I have that I created in the overview of the interface. One of the things that's a um, a little challenging when you create a lot of screens in Tigsy is if you don't actually name your screens with something that makes sense to you, it can be difficult to figure out later where which screen you're trying to link to or where that is. So if you click on a screen over here in your project outline or your project tab, you can go over to the right side and under common you can change this. So I'm gonna call this home screen and um, I'm also not sure that I want the black theme at least on the uh, on the inside um, so I'll change this so it looks like this. So, Okay, now that I've created and named this home screen, I'm going to go over here to my mobile screen 2, and I'm also going to, um, I'm going to call that um, secondary screen. Alright, so now when I'm in here, I know what I've got. So I've got my black screen here for my home screen. So I'm going to go up here, and in order to uh, modify this text, I'm going to double click it, and that's going to allow me to delete it here, and I'm going to call it um, FLW Information Tour. So now that we have our tour up here, I'm going to assume that we probably want to um, put some text in here. So I'm going to go over to my palette, I'm going to scroll around, I'm going to find a text here. I'm just simply going to drag and drop it in. So this is where I could um, um, type in information about our tour that we're creating. So I'll say um, this is So I've got that information in there, and um, and I can even go over to my document here that has all of that in it. And I can bring copy that here, and so I'll put my introductory screen text right here. So now I've got that all set. Um, Perhaps I want to put an image in here. So same sort of thing. I'll just drag my image in, size it however I want it to maybe show up on my page, and I'll double click that. And that's going to allow me to upload a file. So I'll go in here and find my file. So let's see. Um, we'll just use maybe a photo of the home and studio. which that's an interior photo, so there we have it. So in order to get from one screen to another screen here, we're going to need to do some sort of um, button or link. And so from for this screen, I'm going to drag down a button right to the bottom here. I'm going to change that back to a black. And I'm going to double click on here and I can change the test text. So now I've got my screen is set. Now, here's where we're going to move on to learn about creating events that will allow you to link from one screen to the next screen.